I wanted to talk a little bit about how this was made. You're probably thinking, is this not just a crappy drawing of a generic guy? But you'd be wrong. In reality, I am fully CG, and I was made in an open source software called Blender. And believe it or not, this crappy drawing was iterated on a bunch of times, and started from this. Now, as a Maya user, I've always been reluctant to actually learn Blender. The only times I dipped my toes into the Blender bucket was for motion tracking. My chirpmill animations rely on the birds to be in real-life footage, so I use Blender to track the cameras and make it feel like the character's actually in the video. But other than motion tracking, I hadn't really used Blender for animating in or creating my own characters in. I knew it would take a lot of time, and the end result would probably suck. But for my latest video, I knew I wanted to make a CG version of myself, because I thought that is more interesting than to see my actual face. And I recently quit my animation job at Disney, which meant I had no excuses anymore for learning new software. I told myself with this project that I would do my entire basically do everything in Blender, and it's going to be such an undertaking. I have to model him, I have to uh, rig him, animate him, all this stuff that I don't really know how to do in Blender fully. I didn't really know where to start, but I honestly think the best way to learn new tools is to make personal projects. But with learning Blender, I was a little overwhelmed to just dive in without knowing anything at all. I ended up looking online for Blender tutorials and came across one from Skillshare, who is actually the sponsor of this video. The tutorial was taught by animator John Knowles and covers the whole Blender pipeline. This class was honestly so helpful for me. John teaches the essentials of Blender in an easy-to-follow curriculum. He focuses in on the basics, which is exactly what helped me move forward with making my own little character. The class starts with learning the basics of Blender's UI, essential hotkeys, and how to model an object. He then goes into shaders, more advanced modeling techniques, and some rigging as well. Lastly, John goes over animation in Blender, as well as lighting and rendering. The videos are super easy to follow and give a foundational overview of the whole Blender pipeline. And by joining Skillshare, you'll also have access to other really cool classes spanning design, animation, and all sorts of stuff. The classes are all taught by successful and talented creatives like my guy John. The first 500 people to use my link in the description or scan the QR code will receive a one-month free trial of Skillshare. Get started today. The first step in creating me was getting inspiration for the design. I really love Ali Brosh's comics, and I wanted something really simple and expressive like that. I started out by drawing some crappy versions of myself. I did a ton of like brainstorming in terms of like what I might want. I still don't know exactly what I want. And one of my friends did a caricature of me um, and I really like the facial expression. I had made myself before in CG, but I wanted to change it up. My old design had eye whites, but I thought it would be more fun to go simplistic and have little pupil dot eyes. After doing some drawings, I wanted to get into modeling. To start, I brought in my old Garrett model as a reference point for the new model. I also started brainstorming ways to tackle the face animation on the character. I'm thinking maybe of going with a drawn mouth, so I don't have to rig a mouth, at least for this first video, kind of like, you know, have everything else, like the eyes and the brows be CG. Once I got into it, I really enjoyed the modeling tools in Blender. Yeah, honestly, it's been really fun modeling in Blender. I like it a lot more than Maya right now. The hotkeys are really intuitive once you sort of understand it. So yeah, I'm having a lot of fun. Isn't that crazy? Having fun animating? Wild. Once I was satisfied with the model, I needed to rig the character. Rigging is a very mechanical part of the CG process, where you create the skeleton so the character can move. I have to be honest here, I don't like rigging in Blender as compared to Maya. It felt like there were a lot of differences that I couldn't wrap my head around. For example, I couldn't figure out how collections worked and how they differed from groups in Maya. I don't understand collections at all. Like you have this collection here, you can hide it, but you can't move it. It's not a movable thing. If I want to like parent things, I have to create like an empty, I guess. Thankfully, Blender comes with this free auto-rigger called Rigify that I decided to use. It worked pretty well for me, but definitely had some quirks I had to figure out. Like right now, the finger axes are wrongly set up and I have to like go in and do all this stuff and I'm searching all these forums to figure it out. Yeah, you want the fingers to curl, but when you do it, it's like it curls in a completely wrong direction. Fun. 
Getting the character's clothing rigged properly took me ages, until I eventually just decided to simplify it and make the clothing just using a texture. I'm thinking actually just having it be a texture on on the uh, the character, kind of like how the pants are. Look at this guy's dead eyes. I was really excited when I got my first pass of the rig done. They finally have a first pass of the rig. It's the most broken rig ever, but I made it. I made the mistake of showing my wife my character after I completely finished rigging, and she told me the character didn't look like me at all. Basically, her big note was that my avatar doesn't look like me. After some design tweaks and finalizing my divorce paperwork, I got back on the right track. So this is sort of one of the passes of the character I have but I want to make it look like this. Basically, I want the legs to be longer in relation to the, the body. Once this bad boy was rigged, I needed to learn animation in Blender. It had been months since I'd taken that Skillshare tutorial, and unfortunately, I forgot everything I learned. So I looked at my notes and just tried animating my character in different poses. My first impressions of animating in Blender were not good. I really struggled with the hotkeys and the workflow. So one thing I don't love is the fact that I'm animating with all these bones visible and it's really clunky. Getting the curves into the graph editor is like a 10 step process. You still have the bones, bones and I had a minor existential crisis in the middle of animating. No, I'm gonna be honest guys, I hate to, I hate to say this, but the Blender animation pipeline is not very fun. I love the modeling, I love the uh, rendering. Do not like the animation. It's awkward, it feels buggy. I feel like I'm probably doing stuff a little bit wrong, but there's just some weird, annoying things. You know, this is a, this is a learning journey, learning process, so, but um, it's just a slog, man. But there were some things I really liked. It has been very fun animating these smears with the grease pencil tool in Blender. It's really just, Fun time, fun vibes. I love how in Blender, it's not easy to accidentally move the camera. If you move the mouse, you automatically go out of the camera. So I love the shape keys. So I like wanted to get rid of this little kind of pudge. Super easy, you can like just sculpt on the rig. Love how easy that is. Now that I had mostly finished animation on my character, it's time to talk about rendering. Rendering is the final stage in the CG process, where you turn your animation into fancy images that look good. I had a lot of fun playing with the line boil around the character. If you can see, there's like these like little black outlines that are kind of moving, giving it sort of like a boil effect. I also enjoyed playing around with the tune shader. I don't know, it's fun. It's very intuitive, I think, for the most part in Blender, I'm noticing. All in all, I really loved Blender's rendering. I found it super intuitive, fast, and loved how it was free. So I can take this, render it at like a 4K resolution, and it's totally free. You know, Maya, sorry to keep comparing to Maya, but if you wanted an Arnold license, you'd have to pay 55 a month to get to access to that. So you're saving a ton of money with Blender. I find that like the settings just make sense. I've had really no trouble. You know, I'm obviously doing pretty like non-photorealistic rendering, but I don't know, I, just, I think it's, this is really, really great. I'm pretty happy with how my little character turned out, but I'm mostly proud of myself for finally learning Blender. Because learning new tools is objectively hard. Even for someone pretty technical like me, I really struggled. I felt like I was constantly doing stuff wrong, and I was certain there were better workflows and plugins I could be using. But I think that's the thing about learning stuff. You just gotta do it. I found that the best way to learn softwares is through projects like this. Tutorials are super helpful for learning the basics of things, but you won't internalize that knowledge until you use it in a practical way. I still will continue animating in Maya, and I think it's a great software to know, but Blender is a powerhouse if you are creating independently. 